The witches create an aura. They create an aura of um, concern. And so in terms of what they contribute, they are the driving force of Macbeth's worst decisions. I think too because this production is so contemporary and it's set in a world which is in chaos at the beginning where there's civil war, where there's, um, there are atrocities happening, you can see that there are parallels between the witches and actually some of the things that are happening in the world generally in terms of the extremes that people get pushed to when there is too much pain to bear, when they feel so disenfranchised, when they are so excluded from society, they become the catalysts for atrocities. So they are not evil themselves, but they can facilitate the evil in people. And I think that they are, they're, they're the goad for Macbeth. The representations of darkness, their representations of evil, of malice, of chaos, of, of, of disorder, of um, uprising, of a particular revolution that absolutely, um, you know, founds itself and glorifies and delights in devastation, chaos, death, darkness. And I think that the witches themselves offer up these temptations to Macbeth. The witches have planned out this whole life for Macbeth and basically all they need to do is get him to believe it and kind of play it out. The most interesting lines are in Act 4, Scene 1, when the witches are creating the apparitions and they're round the cauldron. Finger of birth-strangled babe, ditch delivered by a drab, make the gruel thick and slab. Those double consonants coming together with a sense of congealing, it's horrible. Act 3, Scene 2, Macbeth. Oh, full of scorpions is my mind, dear wife. It's just, it's incredible because it's, it just shows the level of poisoning that's um, infiltrated his own thoughts. The scene where the murderers um, come in and they go to kill the rest of my family and me, and I, um, I stab one of the murderers and I call him a shaghead villain, and he turns around to me and just says, what, you egg? That's his really hard-hitting insult is, you egg, which I love. My favourite line, it's a line of Lady Macbeth when she's talking about um, how she has given birth and she has suckled her baby, but that she would tear its mouth from her breast and dash its brains out. Um, so it's dreadful that that's my favourite line. It was so against every maternal instinct that I have. I'm a mother of two, you know, um, and I was in awe that Shakespeare could have come up with such a concept. So um, yes, it's ra rather sick that that's my favourite line, but it still is.